What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks and today's video is another Slipknot mask unboxing. This video was actually decided by my Instagram followers. I posted a poll and asked if they would rather see a Corey Taylor Iowa mask unboxing or my Halloween 2018 review and it was really close. I think it was like a 10% difference but the Corey Taylor Iowa mask unboxing ended up winning so that is what we are doing. And that brings me to today's question for you guys. Would you rather see a Halloween 40 review for the next video or another Slipknot mask unboxing? I won't say what the mask is going to be, but it is a self-titled Iowa-ish Slipknot mask. Or would you rather see me review Halloween 2018? I do have some things to say about it, so just let me know down below in the comments which video you would rather see, and let's get on with this unboxing. So as I mentioned, this is a Corey Taylor Iowa mask. This was made by John S. Alfred, aka Maggot Mouth Masks on Instagram if you guys want to go check him out. He makes what I believe to be the most accurate Corey versions from the ground up. He sculpts them, paints them, and does the dreads by himself, so it's all John S.'s work. And you guys have probably seen a couple of his other pieces in my collection because I believe that I have three of his masks in my set. So, this will be the fourth Corey Taylor Iowa that I have from him. Let's go ahead and open it up. I got this mask secondhand from my buddy Jimmy Theodo. I know that you guys probably know who he is because he's done some graphic design for me in the past. He is Museum of Random on Instagram. If you guys don't follow him yet, make sure to go do so. He's been knocking out this oddball clown set where he just takes uh, different sculpted versions of West G's that people have replicated and he collects those and it's actually pretty freaking neat because I don't think that I would ever collect those masks but because he has and he's so committed to it and there's so many different versions of them it's actually pretty fucking cool so I gotta give him props there plus he's just a nice guy super talented um, he helps me a lot when it comes to graphic design stuff so always a pleasure doing business with Jimmy and he threw this mask up and I knew that I needed this version so I went ahead and asked him if he could hold it and he did and now I have it in my possession so we're going to go ahead and open this up. I believe that he sent some extra goodies, so we'll take a look at that before I actually pull the mask out and talk about the mask. All right on. So we've got one of his Chucky meets Chucky hats with the blood splatter there. I've actually tattooed this design before, so I have put the Chucky Chucky on somebody's leg, and I think he hooked them up for getting it as well, so that's pretty fucking rad. And it's got his little sticker there on the top right on. That is dope. And then inside of the mask we have, I don't want to show you guys too much of the mask yet, a packet of stickers and pins and all kinds of good stuff. Gonna open that up right now. All right, so it looks like there's a note. I'm going to go ahead and read that before we get into anything else. Yo, along with the Corey, I threw in some extra goodies. Hats are available for purchase, either splattered white or blue. Everything is very limited stock, so I hope your boy push some merch. Instagram, at Museum of Random. Facebook, Museum of Random. I will link him down in the description as well. Make sure to go help him out because you are supporting a dope artist that makes dope things and a nice guy who's in the horror community and you get something cool out of it, so it's a win for everybody. There is the pin with his logo on it. As you can see, it's a crusty meets West German clown. We've got some business cards here. And then we have a load of stickers, which I think I will just show off individually at the end of this video. I think it would be better than trying to get this to focus on those. And then we actually have the Child's Play, Chucky's Play patch, Chucky meets Chucky there. So that's fucking dope, man. He, get, he definitely sent me the hookup. So, Jimmy, I appreciate it, and I hope that this video helps with some sales. So, now on to the piece de resistance. We have a Supersonic 2001 Corey Taylor Iowa mask, and this thing is fucking rad. It's such a weird paint job. It's just got that weird green smudge all over it. And I don't know why Corey didn't wear this version more, but the only time that I can think of him wearing this was at Supersonic. I'm sure sure that there's other photos. One that stands out to me in particular and probably the reason that I do like this mask so much is a photo of him with weird face paint on underneath. He's got like yellow or green face paint on and then black lips and it's just super strange. Definitely different than what he normally does with the straight black underneath and I think when I get a mannequin head for this I'm going to go ahead and paint it with that paint job. So it stands out a little bit amongst the others and that's probably what I'm most excited for is the mannequin that's going to go on underneath this so that I have a super cool look for the entire mask and the way that it's displayed. I don't feel that I need to talk too much about John Mess's sculpt because I've done at least three other videos on his other masks and they're all superb. They definitely are the most accurate sculpt and I don't believe that to be an opinion because accuracy is a fact and I think that these things fucking rule. And as far as I know, John Mess bangs these things out really quick for people, so if you're trying to get one, I would definitely suggest hitting him up. They're super, super high quality. Everything looks really fucking good and uh, you guys can see it for yourself. So. 
What I'm going to do now is go ahead and stuff this, display it, maybe throw in one for a worn shot or two and give you guys a nice look at the mask. That will be today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and we will see you later.